Hello dear learners in today's video lecture we are going to talk about the beta lactam antibiotic the video which you all were waiting for we are going to cover beta lactam antibiotics in various parts like uh, their SAR we are going to study differently their classification we are going to study differently along with the structure and their uses side effects etc we are going to study from beta lactam antibiotic in this video we are going to talk about the major class under beta lactam antibiotic that is penicillins we are going to talk about the classification of penicillins as you can see here in the image there are various classes based on which the penicillins are classified so it is a spectrum of activity as you can see here in the broad spectrum and narrow spectrum they based on the action type of action that is nature their nature is bactericidal in nature based on the mechanism of action mechanism of action it is based on the type of activity which is which is shown by them it is based on the spectrum which is shown by them so if we will start and there are many more classes these are some of the major classes now coming towards the actual classification of penicillins now penicillins is one of the antibiotic which is cell wall synthesis inhibitor so it is one of the class from the antibiotic that is bunty so ye bunty ka koi to ek representative hai jo ke penicillin naam se jana jata hai so it is penicillin bunty abhi penicillin bunty ko kya mila hai mnc mein job mila hai so now to remember all these classes and their examples we are supposed to remember this trick abhi the classes we will revise once the classes are penicillins are classified on the basis of their source whether they are obtained from the natural origin or semi synthetic then second it is classified based on the route of administration whether they are administered orally or parenterally then penicillin bunty is classified based on the spectrum of activity whether it is narrow spectrum broad spectrum intermediate spectrum extended spectrum then next class includes resistance to enzyme and resistance to acids now as you all know the penicillins are very much sensitive to various enzymes such as beta lactamase amylase enzymes yes acids and alkalis as well so to start with the first class that is based on the source now penicillin bunty has got job in an mnc multinational company so mnc mein bunty ko a dog basis pe job mila hai kaun se bunty ko penicillin bunty ko so now it's telling that mnc mein a dog pe who so now mnc mein a dog pe who mnc from this class like semi synthetic class it stands for m for methicillin n for nephacillin c for carbenicillin now to remember all these examples this mnc mein a dog pe who is actually from root of administration now how we can remember these semi synthetic penicillins from other classes we will see now but for that we will have to first go through the route of administration spectrum of activity resistant to enzyme and acids now if you will observe a common thing before starting on leave i would like to tell you one good news that in classification if you will observe your work has been reduced a particular alphabet stands for a single penicillin and it will be same in all the classes like for example if m stands for methicillin then semi synthetic mein m is methicillin oral mein if it is m oral mein m is not there parenteral mein if it is m it is methicillin only again if you will find the same example in narrow spectrum m again it stands for methicillin resistant to enzymes again it stands for m stands for methicillin and here also if you will find resistant to acid so it is in acid unstable class it is methicillin m stands for methicillin so particular alphabet will code the same example in all the classes that means you are not supposed to memorize the names of the penicillin antibiotics the different names for different classes 
one alphabet will stand for only one name in every class now to start with the root of administration in root of administration there are two routes by which penicillin bunty is administered that is oral and parenteral now in case of parenteral if you will see here parenteral comes later after oral but in from the natural class which is obtained from the fermentation penicillin g and penicillin v the penicillin g though alphabetically g comes first it is in second class and though alphabetically v comes later it is in first class so it is penicillin g which is the first example then according to the trick mnc me adopt pe ho so mnc me to mnc ka m stands for methicillin n stands for nifacillin c stands for carbenicillin so this is mnc which is with respect to the parenteral and adoca this is a d o c with where you can alter the sequence now further further classes you will find the different tricks but each alphabet will code the same penicillin antibiotic to start with other from the root of administration this oral oral may if you start with this adoc this a both a a is ampicillin second a is amoxicillin d is for dicloxacillin o is for oxacillin c is for cloxacillin so if you will uh, recollect these are the same examples which we have seen in semi synthetic like oxa cloxa dicloxa ampicillin amoxicillin only the difference here in the route of administration is penicillin g comes first and penicillin v comes later but here it is exactly reverse in every class you will find the exact reverse like oral it is though it comes later in the alphabet and in parenterals it's penicillin g though it comes first in the alphabets so first class oral mein penicillin v hai second class parenteral mein penicillin g hai which is administered parenterally so the trick mnc mein a ho now this mnc mnc is for parenteral and adoc is for now mnc m n c m stands for methicillin n stands for nifacillin c stands for carbenicillin adoc a stands for ampicillin second a stands for amoxicillin d stands for dicloxacillin o stands for oxacillin c stands for cloxacillin and v and g i already told you that though it is first class later penicillin will come earlier and though it is second class first penicillin will come here that is penicillin g so if you will see the third class the spectrum so penicillin are again classified into classes like narrow spectrum narrow very narrow which is a smaller range broad it is a broad range a comparatively large range intermediate in between narrow and broad and extended spectrum in penicillins so narrow broad intermediate and extended now what is the trick to remember the spectrum of uh, activity class of penicillins now here in mnc you very well know the culture is like really very um, uh, sophisticated culture and it's like um, very uh, smooth culture so in mnc you have saturday sunday off saturday sunday to off tha abhi monday ko bhi thoda aaram hi hai monday ke baad actual kaam start hota hai so monday ko abhi bunty kya bol raha hai penicillin bunty abhi to karna hai spectrum hai spectrum hai main kam bhi kaam kar sakta hu zyada bhi kaam kar sakta hu in between bhi kaam kar sakta hu extended bhi hai matlab यहाँ पे अभी मंडे को उसको काम करना है या नहीं करना है दैट बंटी विल डिसाइड सो उसने क्या डिसाइड किया अभी मंडे को आ कार में टाइम पास करेंगे तो वो बुला रहा है उसके फ्रेंड को मंडे को आ काम तो मुझे करना नहीं है थोड़ा सा कार करेंगे और टाइम पास करेंगे अभी मंडे आ कार में टाइम पास करेंगे नाउ दिस मंडे मंडे आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न कम्प्लीटली 
monday a y is not there so now what it is if you will see narrow spectrum from the top it is monday so it is m monka m stands for methicillin o stands for oxacillin n stands for nephacillin p stands for dicot now here is one in fact if you will see each alphabet will stand for only one antibiotic that means each alphabet you are supposed to remember only one penicillin and it is same in all the classes like here also if you will see mnc m stands for methicillin here monday m stands for methicillin mnc n stands for monday also e mnc ka c stands for penicillin here also it is car me so it is penicillin uh here in monday c there o abhi adoc also monday o stands for oxacillin so penicillin is same only the class is different so here in spectrum of activity monday a car mein time pass karenge so monday ho gaya abhi narrow spectrum ka a mein hai broad spectrum abhi a kiya a if you will do it with your mouth it's a so it's broad so a mein first a is for ampicillin second a is for amoxicillin which was same in case of adoc a a for ampicillin a for amoxicillin here also a is for a is for ampicillin another a is for amoxicillin now abhi car me to hai car me time pass car me time pass abhi yahan pe extended spectrum if you will see we will leave intermediate because wo to intermediate hai बीच में ही अटका है सो so, बीच में जो अटके हैं वो ये दो है ओरल एंड पेरेंटल में इफ यू विल सी इट इज पेनिसिलिन वी एंड पेनिसिलिन जी सो हियर इट इज बोथ द एंटीबायोटिक्स पेनिसिलिन एंटीबायोटिक्स लाइक पेनिसिलिन जी एंड पेनिसिलिन वी इट विच इज इन बिटवीन इंटरमीडिएट एंड कार में टाइम पास नाउ हियर इट कम्स इन एक्सटेंडेड स्पेक्ट्रम कार में टाइम पास अभी कार कार इज फॉर कार्बेनिसिलिन मे इज फॉर मेजलोसिलिन टाइम का टी टी आई इज फॉर टिकारसिलिन टी पास का पाइपिरासिलिन सो इट इज कार मे टाइम पास कार्बेनिसिलिन मेजलोसिलिन टिकारसिलिन पाइपेरासिलिन नाउ दिस वॉज विद द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एक्टिविटी नाउ कमिंग टू वर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्लास दैट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू एंजाइम्स now there are certain enzymes which we have seen in the video of stability of penicillin like penicillin undergo the enzymatic hydrolysis like by the enzyme beta lactamase so there are some penicillins which are resistant to enzymes and there are some penicillins which are non resistant to enzyme that means since they are non resistant they undergo beta lactamase hydrolysis and since they are resistant they do not undergo beta lactamase hydrolysis so this resistance to enzyme in resistance to beta lactamase and non resistance to beta lactamase you will find it's a combination of this monday and broad plus intermediate abhi broad and intermediate broad me a tha इंटरमीडिएट में पेनिसिलिन जी एंड पेनिसिलिन वी थे सो अभी पेनिसिलिन जी पेनिसिलिन वी तो वी हम लोगों को पक्का याद है कि इट इज इन इंटरमीडिएट नाउ ब्रॉड में आ था आ सो इट इज ब्रॉड सो इट इज नॉन रेजिस्टेंट में इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ब्रॉड एंड इंटरमीडिएट सो इफ यू विल सी द एग्जाम्पल ब्रॉड में आ एम्पीसिलिन एमोक्सिसिलिन सो हियर इट इज एम्पीसिलिन एमोक्सिसिलिन इंटरमीडिएट पेनिसिलिन जी पेनिसिलिन वी so here it is penicillin g penicillin v so these are the examples of non resistant uh penicillins so which means they are sensitive to beta lactamase they undergo hydrolysis by beta lactamase enzyme so examples are broad plus intermediate combination intermediate the the very famous penicillins penicillin g and penicillin and in broad class it includes ampicillin and amoxicillin so 
ampicillin and amoxicillin penicillin g penicillin v non resistant class now remaining is monday monday jo hai this class narrow class so if you will see resistant to enzyme is same as that of spectrum of activity only the thing is you are supposed to remember that resistant class resistance to enzyme class is narrow spectrum and uh, non resistant class is broad and intermediate spectrum so monday m o n d so here it is m again same penicillin methicillin n again same penicillin nefacillin then o again same penicillin oxacillin d again same penicillin dicloxacillin and c again same penicillin cloxacillin so it is methicillin nefacillin oxacillin cloxacillin dicloxacillin next is next class is resistance to acids Now, in stability of penicillin video we have seen that not only enzymatic hydrolysis take place of that of penicillin but penicillins can also be easily uh hydrolyzed by acids alkalis okay so this resistance to acid is same here as that of resistant to enzyme so this acids means comparatively acid stable so these are resistant to acid since they are acid stable and acid unstable that is acid non resistant so acid stable abhi यहाँ पे तो हो गया मंडे को उसने टाइम पास किया ओके okay? मंडे फिर से उसने ब्रॉड इंटरमीडिएट मंडे का कॉम्बिनेशन था देन हियर अभी एमएनसी में ओडी का पैक भी है मतलब मंडे को तो टाइम पास किया अभी उसका और टाइम पास करने का इच्छा है तो उसने क्या किया ओडी लिया अभी ओडी का पैक होता है एमएनसी में मतलब क्या ऑन ड्यूटी पैक सो so, जैसे कि लीव्स होते हैं वेरियस काइंड ऑफ लीव्स आर देयर सी एल होता है मेडिकल होता है ऑन ड्यूटी होता है मतलब इफ यू आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम होम और सम अदर प्लेस फॉर फॉर दैट इंस्टीट्यूट और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओनली यू आर वर्किंग देन इट इज़ कंसिडर्ड एज ओडी तो एम एन सी का एक ओडी पैक होता है ये उसने लिया है किसने पेनिसिलिन बंटी ने तो अभी एम एन सी नीचे का क्लास इफ यूल सी एसिड अनस्टेबल सो इट इज़ एम एन सी Again, it stands for same antibiotic, same penicillin. That is, M stands for methicillin, N stands for nefacillin, C stands for carbenicillin. And other examples are piperacillin, ticarcillin. Abhi O D pack hai. O D and pack. P double A C. So it is O again same antibiotic, same penicillin. O for oxacillin, D for dicloxacillin, C for cloxacillin. P for penicillin V, A for ampicillin, and second A is for amoxicillin. Though so the examples are same. Only here penicillin V. Again, if you will find the examples like penicillin V in acid stable, it is in first. Though it comes V comes later, so it is penicillin V is at in acid stable class, and penicillin G is in acid unstable class. सो बंटी एम एन सी में है एंड एम एन सी में अडॉप्ट होने के बाद भी ही इज डूइंग सो मच ऑफ टाइम पास एंड टाइम पास वी आर थ्रू विद द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पेनिसिलिन एंड सम अदर पेनिसिलिन आर कंपाइंड विद बीटा लैक्टमेज इनिबिटर लाइक द एन विच आर हाइड्रोलाइजिंग द पेनिसिलिन सो द एग्जाम्पल्स आर क्लाविलोनिक एसिड सालबैक tazobactam with this we finish with the classification of penicillins thank you and stay tuned for the more videos on beta lactam antibiotics